Get to the point. Take a step forward. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. I want to speak to those that are not married on the possibility of being presumptuous with God. Ellen White divides sin into three categories. There's the sin of the appetite. There's the sin of presumption. And there's the sin of compromise. Of course, the, the sin of appetite has got to do with our inability to be temperate about things. It could be food, it could be whatever. Being presumptuous with God is when you get into trouble for imagining that is what God wanted you to do, but that is not what he wanted you to do. You imagine the failure to seek the will of God and do it. So you imagine this is what the Lord wants. You become presumptuous with God. The sin of compromise is knowing this is wrong, but you still go ahead and do it. So Peter is saying, I'm not going to walk on what, if it is you, I will come at your door, command, command me to come. And many times I've seen people walk into marriages with partners that are perfect mismatch. Men and women that were never meant for you. Many marriages today are not working because what you have is a mismatch. It's someone you chose for yourself. God didn't choose for you. The Bible says a good wife comes from where? Comes from the Lord. And all of you must find it in your hearts to give God an opportunity to choose for you a spouse. And never, never be presumptuous with that choice, with God. Many have walked into marriages and they're saying even Hosea married a harlot. The Lord permitted him. What you're not understanding is that the Lord permitted it. He did it because the Lord said it. So you who's walking out of the church, as the Lord said, you go out. I'm not saying we cannot marry out of the church. It's a great possibility we can marry out of the church. But is that what God is saying to you? Or you're being presumptuous with God? And today you convinced them. And you wedded them in this church. They are no longer here. See, ilikuwa kanisa yako. Say, pastor, but we agreed. He was even baptized. She was even baptized. But now she no longer comes to church. Hamerudi kwa kanisa yao. You are presumptuous with God. So Peter says, I know I can walk. If it is you, command me to come. If you command me, I will come. So he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. The character of Peter is an interesting one. Many people say, Nikiherehere. Kiherehere is what in English? Kiherehere. What is Kiherehere in English? Of course, you're not coming from Uganda. You know Swahili. Peter was in the boat with the disciples. Christ is on the water. With his kiherehere, I think I admire him. 
because he, he realizes it is safer in the storm with Christ than in the boat without Christ. It is safer to be in the storm with Christ than in the boat without Christ. And when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out saying, Lord, save me. Mama White says, as in self-satisfaction, he looked back to see his fellow disciples. Just to check, just to check. I don't know whether that was, that was being, um, what is Kiburi? Uh, that was pride, I'm not so sure. But, but why it doesn't say pride? Why it said as in self-satisfaction. You know, you can't just believe you're, you're doing what? Even, even you today, you can't walk. Just try even in a basin, you will not. So when, when, when you can put your, your feet in, in, in the water like this, and, and you realize you're actually, you're actually walking. I mean, there are people you like, I want to believe he was looking just to tell them, but I kitu in our Zekana. Mina unata nini mfanya nini mtokenda ni abot. I want to know that kitu in our And then White says he lost view of Christ. And the waves came between him and Christ and he could not see it. And when he lost view of Christ, he became a weed. Why? Because he also knew it was only possible to walk on the water when your eyes are fixed on Christ. And when he lost that focus, the Bible says something interesting that I want me to, I want to preach right now. He says this, that where are we? But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to do what? Peter didn't sink. He began to sink. And many a times in life, you need an experience in sinking to appreciate the power of God. Did you get what I said? He lost sight of Christ and beginning to sink. And then he quickly remembered that my problem is not the waves. The problem lies in my focus on who? And quickly changed his focus to Christ and cried out, Lord, Save me. You will never testify of God as a healer until you test disease. Never. It's theory. Head knowledge. Jehovah Rapha. You've never been sick. You've only heard him as Jehovah Rapha. You don't know him as Jehovah Rapha. It's until you begin to lack, you will never testify of him as the provider. Never. It's theory. It's until we lose our loved ones into the hands of the devil, you will never understand the Lord as the deliverer. Never. And so all of us require a sinking experience. Not for the experience to destroy us. But to let us encounter God face to face. You need it. You need it. You need that experience. I know you're sinking, but you will not. I'm pleading with you, shift your focus from the winds and the waves and the storm. Refocus 
on Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. It only requires you to shift your focus quickly from the storm. Look into the eyes of Christ. Fix your eyes on Christ. The author and finisher of our what? Our faith. Someone has sung a song. Says this. Na, 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 na. How does that song go? Upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of us will grow strangely in the light of his glory and grace. Put your finger on that song. It will be the song we will use as we finish. Your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely what? Deep. These are the men and women that go through a storm and they can still smile. They go through a storm and their face is still oily. It glows. They go through a storm and they still look neat. Our dear Chile. Bado wanaoga na wanajipaka mafuta. Hata Yesu alisema muki fast, muji anoint yourself with what? Oil. The whole world doesn't need to know that you are in a storm. No. Eat well. Dress well. Sleep well. And why are you sleeping well? Not because you're forcing yourself to sleep. It's because the master of the storm is right beside you. The boat will never capsize, never. It's right beside you. So when we preach like this, you don't imagine us, we don't have, we have the biggest of problems than you. But at times we listen to you and we say, we are nalianga nini ata? We are nalianga nini. But we still live and move. We eat well. We dress well. We shower every day. Please don't smell. Don't, don't, don't skip a day because yani ulilea usiku yote mbaka ukuoga. Ulisikia yo story ya subui, imekukula kichwa. Mbaka umeshindwa kuenda kwa shower. Yani, mbaka unashindwa kuoga. Na unajua vzuri weni mnono, ukona lea sa nyama huku, kila na unasweat. Na huko bia unatoa, na nana. Na unakataa kuoga. Umekataa kuoga kuoga ati ulisikia bwana yako akona kasichana mahali yani uamini uamini siamini siamini kama huu ni tom siamini hapana ala mpaka ushapiga simu nyumbani kwenu kila mahali imefika usiku usingizi imekataa kukuja umelala umelia usiku yote umelia usiku yote ukiwa unanuka tumbo pia haina chakula hey! umekosa usingizi umekosa usafi umekosa chakula asubuhi asubuhi unaamka Nyumba inanuka, hata rumi yako inanuka. Na umechoka. Kuna saata kama siya sabath, dunga tupo ya kukonfuse shetani. Siya sabatu? Vatu ngu mzuri, jipake mafuta. Spray yourself. Go to work. And the devil looks at you and say, Niaji, niaji ya shtuki? Wana kuuliza kwa ni unaenda wapi? Aniko, naenda tu job. At times we do these things to confuse the devil. Look good, look nice. Talk tough. Because Christ is right beside you. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to you, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And then when they got into the boat, the wind did what? Sist. I want to tell you something. Mark 6.51, when he's winding up that story, in Mark 6.51, Mark says this, then he went up into the boat 
and the wind ceased, and they were greatly amazed in themselves beyond measure in marvel. Let me tell you something. Your situation could be taking too long. The Lord is not controlled by time and space. He exists outside of time and space. But you can be so sure that when he comes into your boat, immediately the wind will do what? Cease. Immediately. Normally we think when it takes too long, there is a struggle between God and Satan. God is never in a competition with the devil. There is no way the devil can compete with God. That when God pushes this button, the devil pushes this button. When God pushes this button, the devil pushes this button. They are now competing to see who will win. Victory is forever with the Lord. What the Lord does is allow the devil to exhaust his strategies, his wiles, exhaust every weapon he has. He doesn't need two years to show up in your situation. The long time your problem is taking, the devil is still exhausting his weapons. Don't confuse it that God is taking too long. God has permitted him to exhaust his weapons on you. And when he is done with everything, all he needs is to step into your boat and the wind does what? Scissors. It's not like he's fixing a car. Trying to find out where there is a problem. So it's taking too long to diagnose and know where could be the problem. No, 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 no. He only needs to show up. And things change. But when John finishes it, and that's why, how I want us to finish. When John finishes the story, he finishes it on a higher note than all the other writers. John chapter 6. Finishes it on a higher note, verse 21. Listen to how John ends it, 621. He says, then they willingly received him into the boat. Willingly. By the way, no one forces you to receive Christ into your situation. Hey, brother This is another son of mine. He's single. Just, just not that. So, so when you keep saying all of you, why are you here? Kuna wababu. No, when you are not poor. We are still forcing his brother to marry. It's called Chedi. Ama usha enda belaya. Ata dem bada japati kana sinde. Ama dem yuko. Ama niyo dem ameka kando yako. Bado sinde. Ama yiko. Niambi tu. Nojo tu nafanya promotion apa mara moja. So, Christ will never impose yourself, himself in your situation. Are you getting me? He will never impose himself in your situation. But he will come if you willingly receive him. What happened? Then they willingly received him into the mood. Listen. And immediately, listen. John does not talk about the wind seizing. No. They were in the middle of the sea. And when Christ came, John says when they willingly received him into the boat and immediately, immediately the boat what was at the land. Where they were going. They were where? In the middle of the sea. That is where Christ found them. John does not talk about the experience with Peter. But let's assume the experience with Peter was there. So it is Christ and Peter. They are still in the middle of the sea. John says, when they willingly received Christ into the boat, and they found themselves on the land. You have not understood what I'm saying. They didn't need to travel a distance to the land. 
They didn't need to row the boat to the land. They just accepted him and the boat found itself on the land. It was like magic, twinkle of an eye. We shall be changed when Christ comes. Me, you need a miracle. I cannot explain it. That's why I said Christ does not need a millisecond to work on your issues. The minute you will show up, your boat will be at land. It will be at the land. And that is the miracle with that story. So let it take all the years it can take. I can assure you, he's seeing you. And when he will come, you will be at the land without you having to explain how you got to the land. Because even me right now, I can't explain. You will not be able to explain how you got to the land. Because it is a miracle. Just like you can't explain how two fish and five loaves fed over 5,000 people. You will not be able to explain you all of a sudden moved from the middle of the sea. When he just stepped inside, the boat was at the land. That's why we call him a miracle work. He still works those miracles. And we never understand how he does them. Never. Never. Permit him work a miracle in your life. Allow him into your boat. Some of us have dragged the name of Christ in the mud. People have refused to believe him because God was using us as an experiment for the world to know that we serve a living God. He only needed to use you to dramatize life. But you failed him. He wanted the world to see that we can go through a storm, but we can find our ways out of the storm. We failed to prove to the world that he is living. There was some time when I was going through my own issues of life and the sister-in-law asked me, Pastor, where do you get the strength to still remain in marriage like this? All these things you're going through, you're still holding on to my brother. How do you even manage life? And I told her, the day, the day, you hear on Citizen, NTV, KBC, K24, Nation, Ramogi, Egesima, Egesa. The day you hear breaking news, the God of the universe is dead. Ask me that question. Ask me that question. The day you hear the God of the universe, breaking news all over the world, the God, the universe has died. Ask me how I survive. For as long as he's still seated on the throne, I don't survive. I live. And Job says, for I know my redeemer. my prayer. You will accept that which you're going through with joy and, and permit God an opportunity to work a miracle in your life. The truth is you will just begin to sink but you will never sink. 
keep your eyes focused on Christ. The storms are raging. The winds are blowing. The waves are rising. Do not be tempted to concentrate on all that is happening. Focus. Fix your eyes on Christ. You will walk on the storm. When he gets into your boat, you shall be at sea. May the Lord Jesus bless us in his mighty name. What was that song? Is it in the hymnal? I am asking that we come and sing. There was another singer. She was called who? Yes. Diana. Asking that we sing that song. 290. And then when we are done with that song, we want to offer special prayer. We want to offer special prayer. And the song we will sing after this song is Sweet Hour of Prayer. 290 is the song. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. When we are done with that song, we do, which is that other one? 478. So let us all rise. We are singing two songs. After we are done with the first song, you have three minutes to speak to the master of the storm about your case. Three minutes. And when we are done, we will sing sweet hour of prayer. And I will ask Molly to finalize it with prayer. Two nine zero. Oh, my.
that believe him and all will be well. You have three minutes to tell Jesus the storm you're in. Believe it. Believe him and you will not fail. You have time. When you're done with the prayer, three minutes, Find some space. When you're done with your personal prayer standing, find some space to kneel. When you're done with yours standing, you will find some space to kneel. No. When you're done with yours standing, we will sing sweet hour of prayer and then we will kneel for a final prayer. And everlasting God, Amen. King of kings and Lord of lords, Amen. the creator who was never created, Amen. the mighty one of Jacob, the holy one of Israel, the sovereign of the seas that no wave can surpass your voice. Amen. Father, we come before thy throne of grace this Sabbath day with thanksgiving in our hearts that this far you have been Ebenezer. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you, Jehovah, for the gift of this Sabbath day. Thank you for the power of your word, my Father, that you have spoken that though the waves may roll, though the tempest may rage, though the sea, the storms may be tossed, but at the end of the day, we have on our side the sovereign of the seas. Amen. That no wave, my Father, no wave can surpass your voice. Be it waves of diseases, be it waves of affliction, be it waves of joblessness, be it waves of barrenness, be it waves of wayward children, be it waves of rebellious children, be it waves of adultery in marriages, be it waves of demonic possession and oppression. Father, no wave can surpass your voice. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we come before the throne of grace this afternoon Amen. that we may plead for mercy for each and every passing need. Amen. 
Father, we are sinners not even worthy to stand before your presence. We have sinned in our words, we have sinned in our thoughts, and we have sinned in our actions. And many times when we try to do good, it is sin that we encounter. Father, we come clinging to the old ragged cross this afternoon. That Lord have mercy according to your steadfast love. Forgive us our transgressions, my Father. Blot out our iniquities, O Lord. Cleanse us, wash us by the blood of Jesus. Cleanse us from all manner of sin. Cleanse us from all forms of unrighteousness. Cleanse us from all forms of ungodliness. Father, sanctify us once more, my Father. That when we bring our petitions before you. May we come holy. May we come pure. May we come clean and acceptable that our petitions may come before you as sweet aroma in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you for this family week of prayer that you have used your man servant, Pastor Elizabeth, to minister unto your children. Amen. Father, it has been a word in season for our families. Thank you for the word that you have put in her. That Lord, at such a time, we need families that can stand to be counted. Amen. We need families can, that can bear the burden of the cross and infirmity of others Amen. that the church may stand. Amen. Father, the family is the first church. The family is a sanctuary. That is why the devil is not giving peace to families. Jehovah, there are families that are the brink of breaking. There are families, Jehovah, that are trusting in you for the fruits of the womb. There are families that are threatened by sexual immorality. There are families that are threatened by poverty and joblessness. There are families that are threatened by rebellious children. There are families that have children struggling with demonic possession, yet they still don't know about it. Mm. Father, it is a sad situation. Mm. But I thank you, Lord, that when we look at the cross, mm. we live. Amen. That there is power when we look at the cross. Amen. That is why, Lord, the songwriter says we should turn our eyes upon Jesus. Amen. Because just like Peter, when we lose focus on Christ, we begin to sink. Amen. And I thank you, Lord, that sometimes you allow us to go through situations mm. that we may be reminded that it is not by our power, mm. it is not by our might mm. that we are alive today, but it is Christ who lives in us by faith. Amen. Therefore, Lord, this afternoon, we plead with you, my Father, forgive us for all the times we have doubted your love. Forgive us for all the times we have doubted your power. Forgive us for all the times we have doubted your ability to save. Forgive us for all the times the material things of this world that you have given us have made us to forget to focus on you, the provider, the healer, the giver. Forgive us, Lord. And help us, strengthen us once more. Give us the power to pray that we may focus on the cross once again. Amen. Father, this afternoon, I want to thank you for the testimony of our sister yesterday. Mm. That Lord, once more you proved that you are a God who answers prayers. Amen. And I know even today there's someone in this congregation who is bearing a burden that maybe they know or they don't even know about. Mm. It may be a sister somewhere. Mm. It may be a family somewhere, my father, trusting you for the fruit of the womb. Yes. It may be someone somewhere who is even dying if the real priest of his family because of joblessness and he cannot provide for his wife and children. Mm. There is a family somewhere, my father, that love has left that home. And all they know is nagging and misunderstanding and constant chaos. Mm. Father, there is a family somewhere this day that is experiencing hopelessness because of frustrations and deceptions of the devil that has put in their family. Mm. Today, Lord, we lift these souls unto you. There is also a young man somewhere, Jehovah, who is trusting in you for a marriage partner. There is a girl who's been in this church who is even wondering, Lord, if you even know her. But Lord, I want to encourage her today that she is inscribed in the palm of your hand. That Lord, you may, you may seem to tarry, 
but your time is always the best. And everything, every plan for us is for our welfare and our future and not for destruction. Father, visit each and every household this afternoon in Jesus' name. Each and every head represented here, Father. Meet each and every person at their point of need in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, you are the giver of children. You say children are a heritage. You say children are a blessing. Father, those families with rebellious children intervene in their situations. Calm the storm in those families, my Father. Speak be still into the lives of those children, that their parents may experience the blessing of having children in the name of Jesus. Father, those trusting in you who are jobless, my father. Father, how can they return tithes and offerings when they have nothing in their pockets and in mm. their bags? Lord, come down, restore their financial prosperity in Amen. Jesus' name. Every good gift come from you, my father. Amen. Bestow upon them the blessing of finances Amen. that they may return their tithes, that they may give offerings, that they may also contribute mm. to the advancement of the gospel ministry in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Father we come as a congregation of Donom SDA Church this afternoon. Mm. That Lord have mercy on us once more Amen. according to your steadfast love. Amen. Father how can we experience scarcity, Jehovah? Let us not be in church, but we're experiencing inadequacy and scarcity in our lives and even our families. Father, in the book of Psalms 34, you said that the young lion may suffer hunger, the young lion may experience lack, but those who fear the Lord will lack no good thing. Therefore, my father, what is lack doing in our families? What is anger doing in our families? What is divorce and separation? What is frustrations, anguish, agony, sorrow, pain and struggle doing in our families? Father, if it is for the glory of your name, Amen. then give us peace that we may wait upon you so that we may experience your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And if it is the work of the devil, the devil has no power, the devil has no authority over us because he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. Amen. Therefore Lord, we rebuke every evil altar that may be speaking against families this afternoon in Jesus' name. Amen. Every evil patterns in families, that in families girls cannot get married, in families boys cannot marry, in families people cannot have children, every evil pattern and plan of the enemy. Father, we plead for the power of the blood of Jesus, that let the blood of Jesus erase those patterns in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every ancestral caste, every generational caste that is speaking against your children this afternoon. Lord, we plead that just the same way you called Abraham out, call our families out from every generational and ancestral curse in Jesus' name. Let the blood of Jesus delink. Let the blood of Jesus disconnect that the blood of Jesus may be the only altar planted and speaking for our families in the name Amen. of Jesus. Father, patterns are frustrating. If you're in a family, Jehovah, all girls are unmarried. A time you find in families, Jehovah, all girls have children in their father's houses. Everyone in a family is experiencing jobliness. Alcoholism in families. Jehovah, insanity, a mental illness. Father, we know those are narratives of the devil to frustrate your children. And we come against them in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Uh, generational curses of drug abuse. Jehovah, we refuse, we reject them in the name of Jesus. Amen. That our children will live to testify of the goodness of the Lord in, in the, the land of the living Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every spirit of alcoholism, we reject them, we denounce them, we cast them out on authority of your word Amen. in the name of Jesus. That Father, you gave us power to trample over serpents and scorpions. This afternoon, Jehovah, every wave of evil that is frustrating and suppressing our families, we trample upon them in the name of Jesus. And we 
lift the risen Savior up that Christ, you are the master of the storm. Amen. Speak peace into our sisters. Amen. Speak peace into our siblings. Speak peace into our children. Speak peace into our homes that every storm, every chaos, let there be peace be still in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Kikiling usiepna. Inesibur makadod yoda. Makiloso topini duto leng. Koro nyasai amalo ekombi marduong. Amalo keni lord ilad lodge ni engi ma ot ka ot eningi Yesu Kristo. Amalo land muono ni lion of the tribe of Judah arise my father. Arise, take up your shield and buckler and fight for every family in this congregation today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That Lord, let us experience your power. Let us experience your grace. Let us experience your might. That when we go to heaven, when you come to take us home, may our children not be left behind in Jesus' name. Amen. When you come to take us home, may our spouses not be left behind in Jesus' name. When you come to take us home. May our siblings be amongst the foot soldiers. When you lead us captain of the mighty throne, may we be among the army of the Lord who will say truly this is our Lord whom we have been waiting for. Amen. Lord, we bless your name. We thank you. We lift your name on high. That Lord, you give peace that this world cannot understand. And I thank you Lord that even in our situations, my father, you have never ashamed us. You have always given us peace. That's why we glow. We glow because we know we serve a Lord who is captain of the mighty throne. The sovereign of the seas. That when he leads, no matter how the storms are raging, all is well. And it is well with our souls. Therefore, Lord, this afternoon, I bring every family into captivity to your obedience. Amen. That, Lord, intervene in our situations in Jesus' name. Amen. Our children, some are at home right now because of school fees. Father, provide school fees in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, some don't even know where the next meal is going to come from. Father, open doors of abundance. Open doors of heaven, Jehovah. Pour your abundance upon our families in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of us are struggling with secret sins. Some of us are struggling with diseases, my father. We are just walking out here, but we always claim that this is our sickness. It is not our sickness in mm. Jesus' name. Amen. No disease belong to anyone. Father, your intention is that we may, we may experience prosperity of health. Therefore, Lord, every disease, let them go back to where they originate from in Jesus' name. That everyone who comes to the pool of Bethesda, which is Don Home SDA Church this afternoon, may they experience a miraculous healing of their physical ailments in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Father, we thank you. We lift your name on high. For you are a mighty redeemer. And those who wait upon you are never disappointed. Amen. You renew their strength like that of an eagle. Amen. Those who put their trust in you, my father, you never let them down. Therefore, Lord, our hope is in you. You are our strength. You are our provider. You are our keeper. You are our sustainer. Thank you for the leadership of this church. Thank you that they allowed this week of prayer to be here. It is not in vain, my father. I know a family somewhere, a soul somewhere has been touched through the ministry of Pastor Elizabeth this week. And Lord, it is that your name may be glorified. It is not Pastor Elizabeth. It is not the, the, the family life leaders. It is not even the pastor of this church. It is the exalted risen Christ. Amen. Therefore, Christ, ex manifest your power. Amen. Manifest your power. Let the Holy Spirit move in a mighty way in this congregation this afternoon in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We thank you. We honor you. May all glory be unto you. This is my prayer by faith in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Get to the point. Take a step forward.